show? Why am I so excited about today's show? Why am I so excited? I feel like so, you heard it, what the menu is. It's because, no, not that too, but it's what? June. It's June. It's the start we, of summer. Yeah. Yeah, that too. But it's June. Um, you know, we discussed that already. It's June, which means that we're going to be celebrating. Wait, your birthday gone already. <sighs> Father's Day! Listen, come on now. You need to make a big thing out of Father's Day. <laughs> when it's Mother's Day, you're going to go all out. You say that every year. I know, but it's true. We are going all out, though. Father's lives matter, okay? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Father's <laughs> lives matter. You just hijack that hashtag. Can we celebrate Father's Day, please? Can we do it big? Can so we do it big? We're, Father's Day is a little different this year. This what is, make it different? We're all quarantining, so how we celebrate may be a little different. Yeah, a little bit. We're not able to go out and dine out. After the 15th, yeah. So, after the 15th? Yeah, we're out there. <laughs> we're out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have a very special guest It's today. Liberation Month. You see, Father's Day is Liberation Month sure. from quarantine right here in Jamaica, yeah. too. So, we're celebrating we're a lot of things. Slowly getting back to normal. Right. But um, it's important to keep wearing these, though. I'm just and saying. our social distancing. Yes. As best as possible. As best as possible. Yes. So today we have a very special guest. Um, he is a chef, but most importantly, he's a dad. See? Yeah. Good. Yeah. See? So I was on track. You were. Um, all right. A little bit. So we're doing uh, we're doing a very special Father's Day meal today. Yeah. Uh, and and I'm excited. We figured about it. the best person to tell us what to look about for Father's Day mm -hmm. is a Dad who cooks, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah we're not going to tell the ladies don't pressure the fathers to cook on Father's Day. I'm just right. Saying, we're know. just saying, if he gives it a then you know that's a good right. direction to go in, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be sharing some tips with you for a scrumptious meal. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you prepare this for Father's Day, be sure to tag us. You know, give us credit where credit is due. Definitely. <laughs> and of course, you can always come down to Mega Mart and go to uh, various departments that we have here and buy something great for dad. You know, dad's like appliances. All of yeah. us like a new, brand new TV. You know what I mean? Or, I you think know, he's some, dropping hints. A shaver. You know, that's what we shave and those things. You know what I mean? That's like gadgets. A little and, liquor. You know, and phone. You know, some, something game. Yeah. yeah you know, we have a bakery. Yeah, you know? yeah. Or you can get something for his car. You know what I mean? That's like, you know, buy him a new set of It sounds like know, I dropped stuff. 45 hints. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? It's a new, new, phone. new set of car mats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A whole heap of things together, folks. So do some great stuff for that. Come down to Mega Mart. We gotcha. We gotcha. I'm ready for the chef, though. He's ready, too. Yeah, I'm ready for everything. This Let's is June, go. people. We're in the middle of the year. Damn, that was quick. I'm not like six months be like two years. <laughs> not 2020. <laughs> so let's go. Chef Simon Levy, welcome to the set. Welcome, Chef. Take your debut to the Mega Mart set. Welcome, yes. welcome. We're happy to have you. Yeah, so man. talk us through it. What are you making today? So Father's Day through to farm, we're going to have a um it has to be protein based, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Protein based. Yeah. I love meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're going to do today is um, we're, going, we're going to take a, a classic pork chop mm -hmm. and we're going to kind of fancy it up, but kind of keep it, you know? Yeah, I, simple, I was told you were going to have a Yeah, yeah, yeah. French we're going mice. To, uh, really? Uh, <laughs> French onions. Just the onions, just the onions. Just the onions? So we're going to have a, 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 a French onion pork chop. Okay. The onions will be French. The onions. What do we have a Jamaican pork? I, I, I really don't know why they say that you're French onions. <laughs> I don't know. It's based off of a French onion soup. Okay. Uh, okay, I've had that, yes. So it's, it's basically a pork chop. We're going to have some nice little simple um, box mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. This is foolproof, guys. You always don't have to like go foolproof yeah. all out, you know. Yeah. I mean, like when I cook at home, yeah. it's See, simple. You got boxed mashed potatoes. Well, sometimes, yeah. Picked it up on the shelf here. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. All right. right over there, sir. Right over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, so we're going to have that. And then um, we have our pork chop. We're going to have our French onion kind of a gravy mm. on top of that. Nice. And I picked up a very nice radish the other day from our good friends Tush off the bush. So we have pickled that and nice. we just have that on the side. Yes. So like I think the radish is a fruness. Yeah. And I guess we can the say fruit. good morning to our just friends a from, from Couplewood as well. Yes. Oh yes, yes, yes the for the pork. pork. You know what I mean? Big up. Nice. So I'm sure the pork lovers are raving. But yes. 
for those who probably don't indulge that much. Right. Yes, you can. You can use chicken or you can use beef, whatever you'd like. So chicken or beef could be the substitute for pork for this particular yes, meal. Yes, yes. Um, I, I wanted to ask before you started, where's your establishment? Where are you from? A little bit about you. Um, are you a dad? Uh, and so on. I am a dad. I'm a very proud okay. dad. Nice. Um, a this dad one's actually going to be one. nine next week. Nine? Awesome. Next week. Oh, oh happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. It's like birthday and Father's Day. Kind it's of. Wow. Oh, it's, nice. It's, it's a nice, it's yes. a nice, yes. it's a nice thing. So what I do, I mean, I've kind of stepped back from the catering and all of that. I mean, I do some of the events and, and whatnot just to right. kind of promote, but okay. I do um, meats. So hams, bacons, you know, prosciutto style stuff, the salamis. Pork. Mm. You know, pork. Yes. Really, 90%. 90% pork. I mean, yeah. I do some salmon and some, you know what I mean? Look at thing about Pork. It's a pork man. That's yeah. what you're <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. They like me. And so if, if our viewers want to follow you on social media, where can they follow you? Roast Meats. Roast Meats. On Instagram. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. And Say, if they want whatever. to give you a call? They can contact me through there. Mm -hmm. um, just my personal number, so. Okay. Yeah. But so don't don't call it for I mean, trivia. For I think this is, this, is, this is still, you know, a big year. We're looking to grow. We're looking to get into a proper facility. We, we kind of have like a cottage industry right now. We mm. started it full time last year. Nice. Okay. So we're looking well, to grow it. Kind of slowly rolling. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Everything yeah. is kind of going on and going crazy. Where I think everybody can kind of take a step back now and kind of do more planning and more organizing yeah. and, and kind of direct or redirect your life because yeah. you know what I mean. Everybody is kind of. That's how positive have that way to quiet look at it. We're kind of yeah. headspace. We're kind of you know what I mean? Yeah. In our real life. All right, so what, what, what stage are you going to start first? So I'm kind of excited. Well, we're going to start with the onions. We're going to start caramelizing the onions. Mm -hmm. And then once those are caramelized, we're going to take them off. I want to sear off the pork chops. And then I don't like to use a whole lot of pots and pans, right? So we're going to reuse the Good caramelized pasta. onions with, yes. Mm. And then put the, so you're keeping the, put the pork, exactly, yeah, yeah, you build, build yeah. layers, layers. You know, the flavor profile. Right, chef, awesome. I'm ready to go, man. Let's yeah? go. Start well, let's do this, man. You know what I mean? Did you always have like a passion for cooking or did um, you go to school or? No, didn't go to school. I was actually trained in marketing and advertising. <laughs> and um, in 2013, I stopped that. I went to construction. And then last year I started construction. Did this. But all through that, I mean, I've, I was doing hams and I was cooking. cooking and I used to do Jamaica food and drink. I used to do Appleton grill off and Jack Daniels grill off back in the day. Right. Yeah. I actually started Bad Dog and okay. teamed up with CV and gave it to them, sold it to them. So, I mean, I've been around food for a while. There was somebody who influenced it? Grandmother, Love for mother. cooking? Yeah. Nice. So the passion has, has evolved and has grown into full-fledged business. Lots of yeah. pivoting too. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so this is really looking great um, almost like where you want it, I think. Yeah, this is, uh, this is almost where it's at. Yeah. So maybe another minute or two and then we're going to take them off. Right. Because we're going to add I make a pork stock. I mean, you can use you can use beef or chicken broth right. or vegetable broth if you like. Mm -hmm. um, but I make a pork stock, and and it works very well with this. And we have pork chops. So I mean, for the viewers who don't know what a stock is, a stock is just a very concentrated broth mm -hmm. or soup. I mean, it's usually clear. Um, and, and you make that low and slow, right? Right. Exactly. So we can take this off now? Yeah. All right, so Chef has uh, the onions all done, and he says he's going to be using the same pot for the pork. Exactly. All right, and what is it for putting in right now? This is um, what I call pork butter. Pork butter. It's actually your old time grandmother lard. 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 Yeah, yes. exactly. So in yes. my... In, That's going to be delicious. Uh, what I do, I use, I get the whole hog and I break it down and I, I do what I have to do. So, I, you know, you try to use everything. Like the, the stock that I have today is made from the bones. Right. Um, the lard is made from the from excess, excess fat from the, you okay. know. So we have our pork chops now. And our 
nice copper wood pour. Mm -hmm. We're just going to put it straight in there to stir off. These are boneless pork chops? These are boneless pork chops, right? Yeah. And what I've done, I've kind of just taken a cord and wrapped it. Okay. So it stays nice and neat. It will probably explode halfway through cooking, but we'll work with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you need some prep. I want to make sure that the viewers are, are yeah. fully so following I season, I season these pork chops as well with um, just some salt, pepper, garlic, um, paprika, mm -hmm. and, um, and a little bit of sugar. Right, and you said you put some, so you tied some, some corn. So what I've it. done is the pork chop has the loin and then the belly that comes down. So usually they cut and leave maybe an inch or two of the belly. Right. So I stuck it in and wrap it. You can see it here, so you can see that it's just tucked in neatly. Right. Just to kind of give you a nice little medallion there. Nice. All right. And you added the sugar to, for caramelization? Um, no, I think pork it's always a needs sweetness. a little bit of sweetness. You know what I mean? Whereas like a steak or beef, you can just get salt and pepper. Yeah. But a, boar, a pork, when you think about like ribs and sauces and stuff, it always has that sweetness to kind of, you know, round it out. Mm. Add some flavor to it. Exactly. So when you stir it, you, know, you want to put it in the pan and leave it alone. You don't want to touch it. You want to put it on a medium high heat. Right. So that what happens, it, it, it seals the exterior of that cut. And what that does now is, it, 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 they say it traps the moisture inside. You know right. I mean? But if you overcook anything, you overcook it. Exactly. So you still have to kind of catch it right. Mm. But it's that, it's that texture as well, so it gives you a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. But still juicy on the inside. It's still juicy, juicy on, on the inside. inside. There you right. go. Right, right, right. right, so right. It, it is not your average Father's Day meal, um, but it is, of course, going to be. I mean, it, it can be. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means that I want to pick this. This is so nice. Actually. It is. So our good friends at KW Bloom Box right. blessed us with this lovely succulent. Um, I think it's perfect for Father's Day. Let me just, that's what, that, that's what this is called. This is a succulent. It's, yes. it's a succulent so plant. similar to what a cactus is. So, oh, really? Yes. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, it holds water succulent. very well. You don't have to worry about not watering it enough. So you just, just put this on your desk at work? And leave so it alone. It's perfect for a man. You don't have to water it. Yeah, y'all don't really pay attention to plants that that well. So. <coughs> <laughs> right, them them gonna lose that day for my show. I'm telling you, you're not fathers. It's all months, right? Day. I just feel that. You know what? The back them broad. The back broad. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of men are farmers. You didn't know that. We could care for these things. Yeah. Yeah? This is a different type of. <laughs> Here. <laughs> but this yeah. is a good gift for dad. You know, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking, you just turned it over, which yeah, means man, just turn it over. that you like how um, the, the crust is being seared right there. Yeah, man. All right, and so, how long would you say you could keep this on? You said medium flame. It, so. it depends on the thickness of the cut. Right. But we're probably looking at maybe four, between three and five minutes aside. Okay. Really depends. And then what I have is a temperature, I have a thermometer as well that we're going to just check mm -hmm. and make sure that we're right where we're supposed to be. You're mm -hmm. supposed to, awesome. like pork chops finish at, so 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. So some people like their pork differently. You mentioned some, sometimes it can be overcooked. Mm -hmm. But some people in Jamaica, like Jamaican tend to, to cook things. Yeah, but like, it's like right? when you cook a fish and some like them fry dry. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when they really like fry dry, they take the pork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we like. We like to make sure like it's, it's, it's cooked and done. Well, well done. done. Yeah. yeah. This is a pretty simple and quick meal when you think about it. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's not. Um, the, yeah. The, the prep is probably the, the most prep important part. The bar. prep really isn't all that much. You know? I mean, if you get your pork and your salt and pepper and you do your thing, um, the onions is just a matter of slicing. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of have garlic. Right. And then the box mashed potatoes. I mean, if you want to make at home mashed potatoes, by all means. But anybody got time for that? <laughs> <laughs> Quick. I mean, if I'm on a job, you know what I mean. You you you, you go all out. Yeah. Right. But um, the truth is, like these single box. My mother used to that all the time. Yeah. What what's what's like a typical Father's Day for you? Is it something that you you normally um, would you be celebrated or would you be the one doing the work? You know or? something. I'm a very quiet and private person. Like a Father's Day to me, right? It's just me and the youth in the hills, or we take a drive out, or it's just quiet time, and it's not the big. Family yeah. get together and the big this and that and I mean maybe we we'll go for a dinner, right? But them things now keep again. So, so it's bonding. Exactly. Just yeah. a little time. Just a little time. Mm. So, so you, you, I think the ship soon, 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 soon be landed on these now. Yeah, man. 
based so on the time that we have. Our temperature now. All right, so we're doing a temperature check right now. We have a little ways to go. It's at right. 135. We want to get it up to at least 150. Okay. So this will kind of help to keep you know it's like heat. a lid on the pot as well. Right. You know what I mean? How important is having the tools for the trade? I mean, any, anybody who works in, in trade tell you that having the best tools is always a great thing. I mean, all right, so a lot of the cooking that I do is an open fire. You know what I mean? Right. Fire, tongs, meat. The essentials. You know what I mean? It, it all depends on what you're doing. I mean, you have people in the industry that, that, that do amazing things with some amazing contraptions. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned OG, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. OG is just a master of technique and, you know, doing all of these kind of things. Yeah. Now, um, it takes a special skill. Right. Um, I don't think I actually <laughs> have, I'm not a formally trained chef. I tell people I'm a cook. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> a chef is someone that's been through the form of Yes, training. and they'll tell you how many, how many years it takes for right, them to, right, to get right. there. I never went through all of that. I watched mom and dad. And you have chefs in the restaurant world that, that, that grew up the same way. You know what I mean? Just started cooking. Right. Yeah, so absolutely. I am a chef by, by profession. And by profession. Right. However, um... It's just not as passion. formal. You can abandon yeah. doing it. <laughs> I, I, I actually prefer chefs that are passionate about it, whether you went to school for it or not. But they've had that natural love. A natural cooking. love and That's passion for it. it. That's the thing um, about and it. And I like that. I like the, the background story of why you got into it and how you got into it. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I like to enjoy meals from people who are so passionate. Like, cooking is, is their thing. Yeah. Um, it and, comes naturally. And they experiment over time. With the flavor. Exactly. Yeah. Because we I mean, you know here. that, okay, so when people train for something, you know what I mean? I trained as a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. You feel obligated to stay on that road. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You might not be happy, you know, but you spend so much money through school, you spend so much time, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You, you feel obligated and people tend to stay obligated and are never truly happy with what they do. Yeah. So you find people that whatever they do and they what they do is their passion, you always find it reflects in their work. Exactly. Yes. You know? So Absolutely. that is my so at that point it doesn't it. feel like work because you enjoy it so much. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Moral of the story, stick to the passion, always work. <laughs> I, I bet you that's like 150 right now. You know something? You are pretty much first. I'm on, I'm telling you, I can tell. I can I have the eye for these things. You had breakfast, you're hungry. I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very hungry. All right, so let's set these off now. All right. All right. And I see you, you, you see, they it held well together. Well together. Like, no, some of them kind of opened up a little, but <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. They held together nicely. Yeah, they held together nicely. I am going to take out a little bit of this oil here, because right. some of it rendered out to the fat as well. So, Chef, uh, we, we watched you work the magic a while ago. You're going to have to uh, go through this last segment for us. All right, so what we did over there is that we put together the mashed potatoes. Right. With some water, some butter. I mean, the ingredients are in, the, the recipes are in the back of the box. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, you kind of ducked it up a little bit. So we used a little garlic powder. We added um, a bit more milk instead of water to kind of get the creaminess of it. Right. Um, a little salt, pepper, and then we finish it with a little chives in there. Just to kind of add a little so color. Right. Spruce it up a bit. Yeah. Can, yeah. can we see the packaged potatoes? Is that Absolutely. Okay? Yeah, yeah, see? It's, it's on aisle. What aisle is it on? Um, <laughs> it's on the potato aisle. <laughs> uh, but that's this is the mashed potatoes that he's using today. Um, Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker. But of course we have other brands. Right. So and, you and, can and like he said, the, the directions are on the box. So there you go. Foolproof. Yes. Kinda. Hopefully. Right. And the directions are. Well, we'll know today. On the box. We'll so <laughs> <laughs> you're plating. So we have our mashed potatoes, and you did something with the onions. Yes, we added the stock, and we added a little bit of cornstarch and water as well, just to kind of thicken, thicken it, it up, up a little bit. All right, all right. Yeah. Start with you. Yeah, do it, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'll do a little something. something. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's slice up this pork chop now. All right. We're gonna see if you if you got it just the way you wanted it. Exactly. That is tender. That looks good. 
That looks good. Is, is that how you want it, Chef? Perfect. You call it, you know. Awesome. I told you. You I said it was ready. I was like, yo, I listened to the man. I am the kind of, I am the kind of son who would stick around um, just in time. I'll come around just in time for the food to be finished. So you know when it's ready. My mom say, you know, if it's time pot. So what time do you show up for Christmas dinner? Christmas dinner? No, for Christmas dinner, you're there when for it, the, When it reach a table? When it, not quite. Like, I, I literally help to put it on the table. You know, okay, you don't okay, want anything okay. to miss a Christmas dinner. Supportive role. That's correct. <laughs> All right, so this is the potatoes. Right, and is that how it comes with, with the... With so I put the chives in it. The chives, specs, all right. right. There you go. So, put a little bit on the plate. This is just for you, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> all right. That looks great. Yes, man. And of course, this is part of the, the magic that chefs boast about. Uh, plating is very important for them. Right. Because they want you to eat with your eyes first. Of and course, of course. Mm -hmm. That's how it works, you know. This is where the, the art, the, the artistic side really comes out, I think. What do you enjoy most? Do you enjoy the cooking part or watching people enjoy the meal that you cook? What, where does like, the satisfaction come from? Nice. From where? Um, I definitely think it's, you know, Having, see, watching someone enjoy what you do. Yeah. You know, you, having a passion is, 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 is fun in itself. Because, right. I mean, I lock up in my room and I make things all the time. But mm -hmm. when you go out there and you hear that, oh, yo, I had that. It was so it was good. so good, right? Can't wait to get some more kind of yeah. thing. And you're like, well, that's, you know, it kind of gives it an extra. Mm. It's like a performance. Yeah. A reaction to the performance that really fuels your energy. And exactly, you exactly. Awesomeness. Well, there you guys have it. So, so there you go. We French have onion. Just for a little extra. Yeah, I knew there was something uh, else coming. I knew there was something else to come. All right. Um, our friends over at Stush in the Bush up in up in, in Prairie there. Yeah, in yeah. yeah. They have an incredible farm. And I was over there the day before yesterday and I picked up some watermelon radishes. Oh. So what I did with them is um, just add a little bit of rice wine vinegar, mm. some water. Salt and sugar, and then a couple of spices like some um, pimento. Pimento. pimento, some black pepper, some um, mustard seeds, mm -hmm. and um, this is just the kind. Would you like to taste what it did? Like where it come out? Sorry, it's interesting. Yeah. So this is my type of veggie here. Now it has a kick to it. Uh -huh. I realize it has a yeah. It's gonna have that. Mm -hmm. You're getting acidity from the vinegar. Mm -hmm. All the flavors. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Yeah, it is nice. This is looking really good. <laughs> so here Let we have it. Let me show it off. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. And as the man said. And of course, you can always just. There you go. There. So is the roaster. Nice. And this is beautiful stuff. There we go, Mega Mart. Pretty quick too. And we're talking yeah. about yeah. once again. They say. What, what's it, French what, what onion. The French, French onion pork chop. The French onion pork chop. He had to get an and accent. Yes, this is for fathers. Um, ladies, if you don't eat pork, you can use chicken. Or beef. Or you can also use beef as well. But make sure you cook something special for that. All right? That's what Thank we're talking about. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, no, we have to have a face bump. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, elbow bump. Yeah. People, remember mama tell you, you, know, you can't, you understand, without tasting. That's amazing. Good. Big up yourself, you know, chef. <laughs> if I tell you, you know. It was foolproof? The box potato number. If I tell you, you know. Box potato chef. go on, you know. All right. People. Are yeah. you ready? Link the chef. <laughs> what? You want some? Good. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come around, man. Come and have some. No, you heard the chef. This is a Father's Day meal, right? Chef, prepare this meal. I'm saying this is your meal. I Look here. Peep, I just want to show the camera. You see this deep chunk here? This deep chunk of the food that was lifted out, right? Off camera. Look at her. You saw this innocent face? She can't talk now. Mm. He said to check if the potatoes were foolproof. Well, you, you, and the pork, you got all over the pork. I had to taste test too. What do you mean? How was it? How was it? It was good. It was really good, it right? It was worth it. You enjoyed yourself? I wor it worth you scandaling that's me That's why you eat half, half, almost half <laughs> of the food that's left I'm for me. I'm sorry, but he cooked two more, so you can have both of those. Don't worry. So what is left, please avoid it. Yeah? That's what I'm telling you. This is a father's day meal. Okay. Right? Sure. So, 
speaking of Father's Day, of course we have other options, you know, or things that complement this dish very well. Yes. So our good friends at Appleton Estate. So oh, thank you, Appleton! <laughs> Look what you said for me! She's a This eight-year-old is... Yo! Yeah. No! You see, that's why you just treat people good. Yeah. You remember when, when we went down there? Yes, we oh, had I a good time. treated them nicely? Yeah. Look what they said for me now. Look at me. By the way, I like the changes. I love it. Don't it? The detail. May the I tell you? The detail is amazing. This is a more sleek bottle. Yeah. You know what I mean? I Absolutely. like it. Absolutely. The things that go off it plus. They have um, a, a little message to share with you guys. Hi Rum people, I am Joy Spence, Master Blender at Appleton Estate. At Appleton Estate, we are renowned for the time and care we place into crafting some of the finest rums in the world. Today, I introduce to you our new eight-year-old reserve rum, which is by no means an exception. I created this rum originally in 1999 to celebrate Appleton Estate's 250th anniversary. Today, every drop of this is aged a minimum of eight years making the taste smoother and more robust, given the additional time the rum spent in oak barrels. I describe this rum to have flavors of molasses, oak, vanilla, spice, and our signature orange peel note. Hi everyone, I'm now going to share with you one of my favorite cocktails, the Joy Cocktail. We're using our Appleton Estate Reserve eight-year-old rum, and we've already put a slice of orange into our glass. And now we're going to put an ounce of the rum. And we're going to muddle gently the orange so we get the juices actually coming out into the rum with a little bit of the oil from the rind, which actually brings out the flavor of the reserve you know, complementing those beautiful vanilla and molasses and warm oat notes, just delicious. And of course, a few drops of Angostura bitters. Why standardize though? Then we're gonna put in some crushed ice. and top up with ginger ale. Then gently mix everything together. Getting the orange juice with the rum and the ice and the bitters. Cheers to Joy's cocktail, absolutely delicious. Thank you Joy for sending these Jamaican classics for me, cause you know I'm a good daddy. You understand? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, since right now, I have everything we need. We never want water. <laughs> tell you. Yeah, man. So, ladies, you know, I have a question. Even if you can't cook like Chef Jess, just get this. And of course, <laughs> be sure to pick up a, hey, a nice cake. You know, they made people I have my cake, I have the food, I have the poor, and I have my rum. Kim, big up yourself. Happy Father's See Day. See your treatment. Good. Yeah. That's what I'm talking You're about. You're welcome. I notice you not know, really say it's mine yet, <laughs> but I'm not claiming it. I'm claiming it all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Chef. Thank you guys so much. Big ups to all the real yes. Thank you to Chef Simon Levy for joining us today. Yes, yes. Um, and of course, our good friends at KW Bloom Box. And be sure to check out our social media pages at Megamar Jamaica on Facebook and Instagram for all the behind the scenes. Thank you. We've got lots of bloopers today. Uh, walk with this to me. Just walk with it. Help just me. walk with it? Yeah, just walk with it. Just, just help me. That's all I'm asking you to do. Just, okay. Yeah, just walk with it. Just walk with it. Now I left nothing. Miss me tell you. 